I'm fat and I'm lazy. And how do I get out of that fat laziness mindset? Um, like, what do you like? Do you have any idea like how to like conquer laziness? Like, what do you, what is your, how do you, how do you get over being lazy? Like, what is? All right. Okay. So first things first. I'm a professional, and as a professional, what happens when people talk to me is I listen to every word you say, but because my brain is ten times faster than the average human brain. I dissect what you're saying completely and I go off on tangents. So I'm having multiple conversations in my head as you're talking. Okay. And you said people think I'm fat and lazy. Now, so you said that. That's what you said. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask you, are you actually fat and lazy? Am I fat? What people, can, I, here, can I share my people, stomach? Hold on. People think a lot of things about me that aren't true. Hold on, Angie. Let me share my I'm stomach. Not- let me share my stomach. Hold on. Am I fat? How old are you? 21. Bro, 21, you should be strong as an ox. At 21, I could split the Earth's core with my bare hands. Fucking, you're 21 years old. You have unlimited energy. Bro, this is what I mean. It's like, it's like half a meme that even he's in on, right? It literally feels like, like, like Andrew Tate is aware of the memes and is like leaning into it. It almost feels like there's no fucking, but he's so unapologetically cringe that it kind of feels as though he's being like i don't know i can't tell if he's like serious or not i i actually thought he was joking for the for for the longest time you should have a six-pack on fucking accident at 21 did you did you did you Well, if you were 35 you wouldn't be fat at 21 yes you are you are fat you're out of shape for a 21 year old i am you're out young man you're 21 years old you have all the time in the world. I bet you're making a bunch of money on the internet. I bet you're loaded as well. You're rich from this shit. Yeah, so you ain't gonna go to fucking work. And you ain't doing any push-ups? Jesus. How do I e-slap? What do I press on my keyboard? Just like that? To fix- yeah, I need to do something. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you are. How do, how do, how do I fix you when you're so fundamentally broken? I am? Well- all right, first things, first things first. You talked about the motivation. You said, I need motivation to not be fat and lazy. Motivation isn't real. So you're talking about a fallacy. Motivation isn't a real thing. Motivation is extremely fleeting. Why are you drinking that shit, bro? On the street. Right here in front of everyone. What is that? Some soy caramel double sugared up. It literally is. It's soy milk and shit. Bro, where's the e-slap? Wait, you don't like coffee? I like coffee, yeah, the same way I like it, like I am, like brown, hot, and strong. Yeah. What are this fucking cold Starbucks, <laughs> bro? What are you doing to yourself? It's point. He's, he goes overboard every now and then to leave room for doubt, but 200k morons take everything he said is gospel, giga chatting all the dumb shit with zero irony. What an awful moron. Karma is coming for Tate hard. Come on, Michael. Come on, dog. You know karma fucking never happens, dude. Like, I mean, I, I just, I just don't, I don't know. Have of XCC chat actually looks up to this guy. I mean, they're all fucking throwing up, like, W, W. But I don't know if they're saying W because, like... He was gonna say he likes his coffee how he likes his man. What? You do understand they're all 14, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what makes it worse, Chatter. They are easily influenced. And finding out that, like, even the Juice Lord himself doesn't like this dude, but the Juicers still were on board with his rhetoric is terrifying, bro. I mean, come on. Juicers love the Juice Lord more than anyone else. Oh, what the fuck? Poison! That shit's got more calories than a meal! Something wrong with you. You gotta stop, stop drinking that crap. 
You should only drink water to begin with. Sparkling, as everyone knows. I don't like sparkling water. It's disgusting. Bro, this is a setup. Now I'm starting to understand. You're deliberately antagonizing me. My blood pressure. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't like. Well, I don't like sparkling water. You're scared of bubbles? No, it just it doesn't it doesn't even hydrate you. Yeah, I mean this is a joke. Like, yeah, he's he's like doing the sparkling water is for pussies shit. You know what I mean? Like he's he's one hundred percent joking. Like he's memeing. Like he knows what his fucking he knows what his like appeal is. He knows what his aesthetic is. Even your clip got overtaken by Tate fans. Been there. The, Hassan is the man Andrew Tate tells us not to be. I'd pay good money to see him call Andrew Tate out to his face. I mean, I would do it. What do you think? I'm afraid? What the fuck? What's he going to do? Fight me? This guy's the embodiment of what Tate tries to warn us about law. Hassan couldn't identify a joke if it smacked him in the face. Hassan is clueless. Imagine being this unaware of reality. He knows the truth exactly. That's why he broke character in the middle of the video and actually agreed with Tate. Then looked at the chat of his fans and started bashing reality again. This guy, Hassan, is a simp. What? I broke character? The CEO of OnlyFans follows Tate Brothers. Andrew Tate has provided lots of receipts on what he claims. He recently traveled to Texas to guest in a podcast where they reacted to a lot of a negative way and they ended up as friends. If he was a millionaire, he wouldn't live in Romania. He'd be in the UK, bro. What? Oh my God. This guy actually has fucking fans. That's... I mean, the dick riding is, is out of control, I think. In 10 more minutes, you will understand why they pay attention to him because he speaks half truths so that resonates with people. Motherfucker, those very same people are literally saying, I'm disingenuous and a grifter and a pussy. And then they literally say, I'm a grifter because I'm, I'm rich. Like, they're like, yo, bro, Andrew Tate is so rich. He's actually rich, bro. I swear to God, I got receipts. And then they look at my receipts and go, Hassan is rich. He's such a piece of shit. Fuck that guy. Look at this rich fucking asshole. You think you could beat Tate's ass? Probably not. He's like a fucking trained kickboxer. I'm not. So he most likely could. What the fuck does that prove? I could beat a lot of dudes' asses. Who cares? What color is your bagai? I don't have a bagai. I bought a much cheaper car than a bagai, and the internet canceled me. Taylor crushes on in every imaginable way. Millionaire kickboxer versus champagne socialist asking his own mom for chicken nuggets. I know which one I'd rather listen to. I don't understand, like, why are people upset that I, I have, like, I bought a house so my mom could live with me 
for extended periods of time. Like, how is that a bad value? Motherfuckers will get mad at anything, dude. It's like, I, I could like fucking build an orphanage and they'd be like, bro, Hassan sucks so bad, dude. You just built an orphanage, dude. Imagine, imagine trying to fucking help little kids with cancer instead of just like letting them die, bro, and ending their pain. What the fuck's wrong with him? I don't know why they're fucking, you know, these are orphans with cancer, but it's literally a mansion, Lamau. No, but like, but that doesn't make sense either. Cause one of you're a hater and you said it's literally a mansion, Lamau. All my fucking haters always say, Hassan, you're so fucking rich. You're so fucking rich. But then they love Andrew Tate for being rich or claiming he's wealthier than he actually is. So it makes no sense. Like, how can the same exact fucking concept make me a fucking piece of shit, but that same exact concept is the reason why you like Andrew Tate? Do you get it? It doesn't make sense. But Hassan, he doesn't advocate for Medicare for all. Yeah, probably. That's the reason. God. This world is so broken, dude. It's that easy to be a fucking piece of shit grifter uh, that's in the manosphere or right wing. And motherfuckers still say, I'm grifting on the left, dude. I love it. I love that. Maybe because you're a bit racist sometimes towards what? W. Tate, L. Hassan, just take the L and stop molding. Maybe because you're a bit racist sometimes. I'm racist sometimes? How? Let's see what this person, what, what community this person is coming from. Yep, that's racist. No wonder, chat. No wonder they got offended. Do you have statistics to back up those claims? You're an internet bully, especially against my boy Ben. Stop taking my baits. <sighs> He's not even a fucking Ben Shapiro fan. Of course it fucking hydrates you. It's water. What do you think? Water doesn't hydrate you? You're scared of bubbles? You're scared of bubbles drinking okay. fucking soy? But you can't. Wondering why you have no motivation to do a single fucking push up at 21 years old when you have unlimited money and all the time on earth? Bro, something wrong with you. I'm not gonna lie, bro. You that are. Dream. Motivation is not a real thing. You are never gonna be permanently motivated to do things that you don't want to do. So then, Andrew, how do, how do I how do I do it? Like, how do I do it? People who train every day don't want to train every day. They are not motivated to train every day. They are something else. Motivation is the wrong word. They are not motivated. They are disciplined. Andrew, are, disciplined. Andrew, are there ever days where you don't feel like working out or you don't feel like doing work? Every fucking day, I don't feel like doing things that I still do. It's called discipline. It's called being a man. It's not about feeling like doing it. If you only do things you feel like doing, you know what you end up doing? What? You end up sitting around with a belly drinking soya fucking latte bullshit. That's what you end up doing if you only do what you feel like doing. You have to wake up and say, I don't feel like training, but I must train. I will only drink water. I will watch Tate speech. Go to CobraTate.com, join HU. I will stop being a loser. I will follow the word of Tate. I have a question. That's what you need to do. Can I get Whether it? Whether it's, it's hard. No, this is my stream. I'm talking. Okay. You need to do what you're supposed to do, not what you feel like fucking doing. Okay. That's the difference between a man and a fucking child. You do not become a man doing what you feel like doing. You become a man doing what you're supposed to fucking do. The men on the Titanic didn't feel like dying that day. It's your duty. Okay. It is your duty to not be a fat piece of shit. Okay. But you fucking it up because of a lack of motivation. <laughs> nah, bro, you, bro, what the fuck? Are you, you're dead serious. No, Am I laughing? Not. What the fuck does do you mean see any dice? Do you see any dice? No. Do you know why? Why? Because this isn't a fucking game, young man. 
I'm deadly fucking serious. If you were my son, I would walk into your bedroom and beat the living fuck out of you. What? But luckily, she, bro, he's not like he 100% is not serious. He is memeing. This is a joke. He is. He is like farming. He's doing a character. He's fucking laughing half the time. As a bit, it's not bad. Like, it's funny. Andrew Tate got rocked many times and KO'd. Not the best kickboxer, by the way. And he's cringe. When I met him, he was quiet. A lot quiet as fuck. All bark, no bite. Hassan, you can rock his casket on God. No, man. He's like. It doesn't matter that he's not the best kickboxer. He's still a fucking kickboxer. GTA, right? Bro, I'm the fuck. Bro, this is literally John Zerka. Like, but actually successful. You know what I mean? That's what this is. We have characters like this that pop up on, uh, on, on Twitch every now and then. You know what I mean? They come and go. Dude is the Soyuz kickboxer. I mean, dude, he'd still be a kickboxer if he was a good kickboxer. That's why he's fucking selling supplements and, and lifestyle. You know? Fuck you up at that as well, but in the real world, you need some real lessons. No, not Josh Zerka. John Zerka. It's a different... Sh he's a Twitch streamer. Young man. Anyways. You fix that. Next time we do the stream, I want to see a six-pack. Okay, I promise, Andrew. Um, okay, so, Andrew. Um, my next question is... Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, guy. Okay, guys. Are uh, uh, fuck. You. I'm not glad that motivated me, bro. I'm, uh, that really motiv. Well, sorry, not motivated. I know you don't like that word. That really made me want to like fix my shit. Good. You need to get disciplined. Thank On you. An actual serious. You need to be yes, a disciplined. Yes, I agree. I agree. No, you do. And I'll tell you one more thing. I'll tell you one more thing yeah. about the the modern world. You are absolutely, and I mean this in a positive and a negative way. It's double sided. A okay. product of the modern world. Okay. And when I say part of the modern world, what I mean is that you have managed to become extremely successful without that much discipline. You've done what you've wanted to do, which is play video games on Twitch. You've become a very successful person. In my era, where I'm from, which it really isn't that long ago. I'm 35, right? So it's a different generation, but it's not You're that long 35? ago. 35? 35, yeah. What? I thought you were like much younger. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so I'm, I'm an old man, right? You don't get anywhere in life without discipline. You don't get to just play video games and get rid he doesn't look much younger. What the fuck? Yo, come on, bro. <laughs> Bitch. None of that's real, right? You have right. to work your right. ass off before the internet. Right. You have to turn up on time. Yeah, I mean, he's right. Okay, see? He said on an actual serious note. So he's not doing the bit anymore where he's, like, going to say, Hey, Aiden, like, you're, you're fucking 21 years old and you're pretty fucking successful even without your discipline. So, yeah, there you go. That's The rest of it is a bit, but that's not... I'm look good, be sharp, be funny, be smart, remember things, charismatic. Right. You got to work hard than everyone else. I come from the era of discipline. I come from the old school way. So you're in a world now where you can just, without discipline, stumble your way to success. Congratulations. But truthfully, to be uh. truly a man, the absolute true marker of a man is his ability to do the things he doesn't feel like doing. Oh. Right, which is, which is, like I said, I got to just get up and do it sometimes. I got to make sure that I'm becoming the best version of myself by pushing myself no matter what. Like you just said, you, there's days where you don't feel like doing shit and you just do it no matter what because you're a man. Well, what else is a man good for if you don't do things you're not supposed to do? If you only, if you only sit around and do what you you're do. You're right. <laughs> what, 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 what's the point of being a man? No, but what would, what would that make you? If you sit around and only do what you feel like doing, what would that make you? I don't know what. Think about it. Okay, a woman? For a second. If you would only Does he mean a woman? And, I don't uh, a pussy. Close. They have a pussy. Oh, but I know. But the point is emotionally led Jesus creatures Christ. are generally <sighs> females Wait. are generally emotionally led. When they're happy, they're happy. When they're sad, they're sad, right? What? Like you just said you there's days where you don't feel like doing shit and you just do it no matter what cuz you're a man. Well, the what
Is he saying women don't like put themselves in situations that like uh, they don't want to be in for to achieve a certain goal? Like women are not motivated. <laughs> like if you're <laughs> what the fuck? My man literally said woman in parentheses derogatory. He said woman in parentheses pejorative. Like like he is unironically just using the term woman and associating it with being like, you know, associated with negative qualities. There is no other way to look at this other than like it's just pure misogyny, like textbook misogyny. Now I think he's, I mean, even if he is joking, this is one of those situations where it's like, ironic misogyny is still misogyny. You know, like how people say that? I, I don't think he's ironically misogynistic. I think he's just like unironically like a misogynist who's also making like an exaggerated joke. Then you have, oh, Jesus Christ. Then you have the other side of this. Women should wipe us off the face of the earth. What the fuck does that mean, dude? What kind of, what? Fuck is wrong with you, chatter? Like, what? What? Just be normal, man. Why do you have to be so, why does everyone have to be so fucking weird? Why can't people just recognize it's the top of the hour? And that there's a 60 second ad break coming, okay? And that in order to avoid those ads, all they need to do is subscribe for $5 or for fucking free with a Twitch Prime. That's it. <laughs> By his mentality, he would be sucking dick 24 7 because he doesn't want to be doing that pretty based. Or maybe the reason why he's not sucking dick 24-7 is because he wants to do that all the time. That's why he's forcing himself to fuck women instead. Which is something he doesn't want to do. Which is what men do. Men fuck women because they don't want to fuck women. Okay? As a matter of fact, it's only normal and correct and good and, and healthy to just want to fuck men and then not fuck them. That's the that's how you stay motivated. Zip Zack K Thum, thank you for the ten gifted subs. X Baby Girl Seven Seventy X, thank you for the five get the subs. Yeah. Did you watch the new Bill Burr? Kind of a yikes, in my opinion. Guy's a little washed. No, I haven't. Anyway, here's the one-minute ad break now. What else is a man good for if you don't do things you're not supposed to do? If you only, if you only sit around and do what you you're feel. You're right. What, you know, what, what, what's the point of being a man? No, but what would, what would that make you? If you sit around and only do what you feel like doing, what would that make you? Have you heard of Andrew Chase? If you don't hit your wife, she will leave you, take. It's fucking wild. What? Burgles, thank you for the five gifted subs. What the fuck? No shot. I don't know what. Think about it. Okay, let me think about it for a second. If you would only sit around and I don't uh, a pussy. Close. They have a pussy. Oh, I but know. But the point saying. is, emotionally led Jesus creatures Christ. are generally females are generally emotionally led. When they're happy, they're happy. When they're sad, they're sad. Right. Yeah. A man goes, it doesn't matter if I'm happy or sad, I will still go and do X. That is my job. It's my duty as a man to do X. That's what I'm going to do. Right. Okay. Um, all right. So look, Andrew, um, how much time exactly do you have? Because I want to make sure I get everything out. You know, I want to make sure we do everything. I just don't want to like go into your time, bro. I don't want to do that. I know you're very, very busy. Is there any water in your house? What'd you say? Is there sparkling water in your house? I will get some. If you get sparkling water, I'll stay a while. But if you're going to stick with this still water, soy latte I swear bullshit, to God, I will literally throw it out, and I will literally just drink sparkling water. All right, make it happen. Okay. I need to see it on stream. you got 10 minutes to show me something. Otherwise, i got shit to do. 10 minutes? Can I have 25 at max? Please. I'm begging, bro. Please. Give me 20. 13. All right, I'm doing it. 13 right. minutes. Okay. Starting a timer. 
13 minutes. <laughs> what? 13 minutes, young man. All right. Hmm. Hand journal. Here we go. That's the time I was Yo. Uh, hold on, bro. Fuck! Sparkling water. Well, all your money and internet fame, you can't get a bottle of water. You're right. I can. I can. I can. I'll have it in 13 minutes, sir. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. It's happening. Okay. It's, it's done. It's being done right now. I'll literally have it like... 10 minutes tops. Okay. So, um, let's talk about something real quick. Um, a lot of people think that you are a misogynistic person. Now, hold on. Let me, let me finish. <clears throat> I, um, I think that like, here's my, here's my personal belief. What are you doing on your phone? Are you okay? I'm rough. I'm, uh, don't worry. You can both. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Bro, how are you going to take a dude seriously that says bruv unironically? That's a L, dude. Straight up. A permanent L. Anyone that says bruv? And you listen to them and you say, oh, man, you're right. I mean, that's that's a L. Um, Anyone that says bottle of water. This motherfucker's not even actually British. Shut up. No shot. How do I put this? I want to just say uh, something is happening in the world, um, and uh, it's it, it's uh, um, matter of fact. Let me not do that. Let's do this instead. Let's let's exercise, okay? Oh, well, let me exercise my brain and your brain. Um, you live in Romania. Tell me why. I what? want to hear it. Tell me why. I'm you no, that. I don't think you are. I don't think you are, uh, Mr. Tate. I don't. I do not think you are. I do not think you are. But when I said I was going to do the stream with you, I got backlash for it, but I didn't really give a fuck because people were saying, oh, he's misogynist. He doesn't like girls. But I don't think you are. I, I don't. Yeah, no. I, I highlight the differences between men and women. Does that make me a misogynist? I don't think so. Men and women. <laughs> no, dog, first of all, that's such a pussy thing to say for the record. Andrew Tate is such a pussy. Just say it with your fucking chest, coward. You did earlier. You literally said a woman is one who is emotional and only fucking operates uh, out of emotion and, like, doesn't do anything they don't want to fucking do. And then you also associated that with a negative value and claimed that a man is a woman in a negative. Like, you're a man. Man is positive. Woman. Woman is negative. Okay. I mean, th that's that's it. What more? You already said it. Why are you turning around and being cowardly and just not fucking admitting that? Oh, I'm just, I'm just. Hasanabi is so horny to create a clip out of Tate, dude. I feel so fucking bad, dude. I really do. I, I wish I was in a more charitable mood, especially because you have like a fucking kid. Holy shit, you have a kid, and you've named yourself Josh the Dad. Oh no, dude, that's so fucking sad. That's so sad. Oh, Jesus Christ, imagine living life for this long, having a fucking child, being in this community since 2019, and being like, bro, you're so horny to make a clip out of Tate. Motherfucker, he's the most clippable dude on the planet. He just, like, doesn't shut the fuck up. He's saying all the dumbest things imaginable. And you, 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 you believe him.